Both violins look good and sound great. This one, a Januarius Galliano, was made in Naples circa 1760 and is valued at about half a million dollars. Now this one, a student violin made in Bulgaria, sells for about $500 or one thousandth the price of the legendary Galliano. As you can hear, the $500 violin equipped with Peter Zaret's patented bass bar has the power and richness of vastly more expensive instruments. We know the violin, viola, cello, and bass operate in two distinct ways. It vibrates like this around the F holes and like this up and down. So the F holes organize the lateral movement, left to right, left to right, but up and down there's nothing Nothing to accentuate that. So Zaret, son of an acoustical engineer, inserts four pieces of wood directly under the bridge and puts precisely placed notches in the bass bar itself to organize the north-south sound wave action. That goes completely contrary to all conventional wisdom. The bass bar is supposed to be completely contiguous and the grain has to be perfectly straight and narrower grain, this is nonsense. What I do is I, I merge tradition and technology, making it more economical, more affordable, and more available to the typical musician. The insertion that goes in through the F-holes, plus the notches in the bass bar, gives it a much bigger, broader, richer tone. So you'd think, incorrectly, that making an inexpensive violin perform like one by the great masters would please everybody. A student will come in, take a violin out, say for a thousand bucks. Teacher has bought an instrument for 200 grand. The thousand dollar violin sounds better than the violin for 200 grand. The teacher freaks out. This can't be possible, it can't be true. They dismiss it out of hand. In the violin business is so rooted in tradition, any type of improvements for a large majority of the people are disdained because that's the way they did it in the past. And thankfully, there are forward thinkers whose reactions have ranged from impressed to amazed. You will never hear a violinist criticized for having too big a tone. Why did Paganini name his famous, most favorite violin the canon? Power is number one. The ultimate compliment you can pay a great violinist is got a big sound. I can take a relatively inexpensive violin, and if I do my bass bar insertion and I do the various techniques I've developed, I can make it surpass just about anything.